I did this exact same drive 12 months ago at the beginning of this blog to plan my first open level tournament. Once again, I'm on my way to Burlington, but this time to play in the final tournament of the monthly portion of this series. And I've tried to cram about 15 years of missed tennis into one calendar year. I've been lucky enough to have a lifetime of tennis experiences in just 12 months. I hit with Bianca Andrescu and got serving instruction from a top national coach. I played on grass. I spent time on court with Daniel Nestor and he gave me an impromptu lesson. And I got an opportunity to sit down with both Denis Shapovalov and Vashik Pospisil. I'll be honest, I was completely overwhelmed coming here last year. I was a bundle of nerves, worried that I'd be looked at like an imposter or an old guy trying to recapture his youth. Of course, I guess both of those are technically true. However, I've put a ton of work in over the last 12 months and I feel as confident in my game as I have all year. My opponent today is very young, so I don't think he'll possess the power and the accuracy of most of my opponents this year. That doesn't mean I'm going to win, but I'm hoping for a more competitive match. Power-wise, I was actually pushing the pace. When I really let loose with my ground strokes, he could only loft the ball back, but he did that all the time. He got to every ball and constantly made me hit extra shots, and that's where I fell apart. I couldn't maintain consistency. Plus, he is a serve and volley master. It was like playing John McEnroe without the yelling and screaming. Dallas and I just wrapped up our match. She won 6-love, six 6-1. Six to be honest, I think it was a little bit closer than the score indicates, but Dallas at any point during the match were at least a little bit concerned at what I was bringing out there. Yeah, at second set when I was up 2-love, Deuce, you hit a pretty good uh, second serve, pretty hard flat one, and then I think you won that game to go down 2-1, and I thought you were going to come back from then. So you're a yeah. young kid, but you yeah. play like a player from the 1980s. If I'm serving <laughs> yeah. volley, yeah. And what made you develop that style of play? Right. Yeah, I play against everyone like that. It just changes it, uh, changes it up. Ah! Your volley skills are fantastic. Yeah. What do you think I need to work on? I'm going to assume you're going to say when you brought me to the net, because I can mm -hmm. tell you're doing that on purpose, yeah. and I wasn't yeah. able to capitalize. Yeah. So what am I missing from that aspect of my game? You know what, I think it's your overhead. You'd come in off a pretty good approach shot. You'd make a good volley, but then when you had to put away overhead, you'd miss a couple. So yeah, just putting those points away at well, the net. We're coming to the end of this blog here. I've really enjoyed the past 12 months and really Dallas playing against guys like yourself and uh, guys in their teens and into their early 20s. Kind of reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld when Kramer uh, took the karate class with all those kids. What's Seinfeld? I what? was born in 2002. Okay, we're just about done here. After a year of provincial level tennis, I have gone from unranked to 259th in the country. I'm proud of how much my game has improved over the past year, and I'm thankful to all who have read and watched this blog and everyone who has helped me along the way. Are you ready to unleash any trash talk, or is the game not good enough for trash talk? I'm trying to help talk? you. I feel bad for you.